Hey friends, it's Brian here, and I'm working on my F-350 project truck, or as I call it, my junkie truck. So, uh, I've got the turn signal switch for tilt steering in. If your hole that your turn signal switch goes through looks like this, you have tilt steering. If you see this, you have tilt steering. Now, if you have lost this little bale or the little stupid clip that goes with it uh, and you want to delete that assembly um, and put a hole in here I've got a video on that uh, that's another video but today we're going to install this so let me get the camera set up and we'll get to it okay so first things first we need to get access in here again so that means these screws have to come back out Before I take that out, I'm just going to kind of test fit this. Yep, so that looks good. And then I'm going to put that through there. And what I realized, I think, I had this fit through here the other day. So I'm going to mess with it and see if I can make it work again. All right, well, let's let's use the old one first. I managed to get this stupid thing to fit through here, and I don't know how I did it. And it's worth trying again, although it sure doesn't look like it's going to fit. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, maybe not. I swore I had this stupid thing fit through here the other day. Um, I wonder if there was something to this. Yeah, I bet there was. Okay, so with that all the way down, that changes the clearance. So that's your trick. To avoid having to splice all that wiring. All right. So the way this puzzle works is these screws have got to go back in. So let's see if we can figure out what screws went in there. Is the lever. Oh, come on, where 
where the hell did it go? All right, let me go find it. Trying to figure out a way to get these screws past here. There, I don't know. There may not be an easy way, so I might have to just kind of work them in here. So I took this screw out to try and figure out what it is and apparently it's really common to lose this screw because um, Ford thinks it should cost $44 for that screw. Yeah, fuck them. Um, it is rumored to be a number eight screw and I believe that rumor is correct. Okay, so let's adjust the tilt steering. That's about right. All right. Uh, so now this tail needs to go up under here. So let me uh, figure out where my bolts went and I will, or sockets, and I'll get that taken down. So, you know what? It's going to get more broken. Really should use a knife. I'm going to go get that. All right. So, pair of PVC pipe cutters made short work out of that. We're just going to delete that. It's a work truck. So, be right back. Alright, so next we're each in here and grab the other end of this. And then I'll go find some zip ties. Yep, stop again. All right, so we're just going to zip tie this in place. Uh, it's not fancy, but again, this is a work truck. And it doesn't need to be fancy. some nippers and I'll trim that up. Alright, so now what we need 
need to do is put these back. So, I'm just going to put those there. Uh, Alright, let me go see what's going on with my lights outside. Those are good. And those are good. The only thing is this is in the wrong spot. I want to bet that that has something to do with it. All right, so um, let's find out what this other thing does. I think this is a key and ignition switch, and I think it's going to get deleted. Hmm. Sounds like it's already been deleted. So I don't think we need that, and I want to do a cleaner job of deleting it. unplug the truck and I'll be right back all right so I've got a little hook here we're gonna use to fish this wire out and we're gonna do two things so we're gonna clip this I'm going to go find a piece of heat shrink tubing for this. All right, All right so I want to make a non-permanent cap of this. And heat shrink tubing is probably one of the easiest ways to do that. And we'll shrink this on here. And that ensures that that can't short out while I'm driving. I think that's a chime, but this ensures that it's been neutered. Ow. Hey, it's still hot. There we go. All right, so that's it. Well, I guess we should have. Yep, those always have power. That doesn't do anything anymore. All right, so that's it. Uh, the next video is going to be messing with this bunch of wires. We're going to convert this to a different, uh, different system. Anyway, thanks for watching.